and Happy New Year for 2023. And in today's video, the first video for 2023, I'm going to answer the biggest question over the last six, eight months that people have asked me. Um, and that is, what is the best fiber laser to purchase? I need to explain a few things to you. And to do that, I'm going to use the big screen over there. Right, so now we're at the screen. There are basically two types of fiber laser that uh, you know you can reasonably buy uh, for your home shop or to start a small business. Now there is one called a Q-switch. Now a Q-switch type of fiber laser is the one that I have. And there is a MOPA laser. Now you see here this is Q-switch and that's um, $1,500. MOPA that's $5,000. These are the source lasers. This is the laser itself that's inside the box. Okay, this is just the fiber laser. Okay, and this, this is the, uh, the outward lens. Now I'm pointing this make and these figures out because Max is known to be the bottom of the barrel as it were. The cheapest and personally I wouldn't buy one uh, from some of the reports that I have seen. Um, JPT they're a reasonable make. Okay so here's a, a JPT a Mopar, that's 5,300. Again, this is the source laser. Okay. So when you see on eBay, oh, incidentally, talking about eBay, Wavetop sign is uh, the, I suppose, the premier supplier of pads okay um, and I, I do mean pads not the whole machine uh, th this is the supplier that supplies all over the world to repair us okay so these prices that you see here these are you know you know they <laughs> they're business prices um, Anyway, that aside, so, okay, JPT, good Mac. Um, all of the manufacturers sell basically three different grades of equipment. Basically it's A, B and C grade. Now, how they, shall we say, uh, grade them is when they've gone through the factory and they've been, the source laser has been manufactured, um, they are put through a testing regime and depending on how they perform uh, is whether they're graded as A grade, B grade or C grade. Um, now what the manufacturers in China do is they obviously in their machines if they actually man up now JPT do actually manufacture but they normally supply companies like Thunder Laser. Now I say Thunder Laser because I have bought a Thunder Laser CO2 laser and uh, I am so happy with it. 
um, I have actually associated myself with them uh, because it's top class equipment and everything they use is a grade that's what you're paying for reliability and the best for a price point there's a grade this is a grade price a B grade would be probably fifteen hundred dollars cheaper and a C grade would be three thousand dollars cheaper so when you see on eBay or Alibaba a fiber laser a moper fiber laser for three and a half or four or even five grand you're paying for a B or a C grade source unit inside it, you know it's it's like uh, buying a new Ford car brand new off the showroom with a reconditioned engine in it because that is what you would be buying the next subject is then um, colour engraving. All right, it's not strictly engraving. What you've seen me do, and uh, uh, with my laser, it's really just a party trick. You cannot use a Q switch laser to do a you know, production run or anything like that and do a decent job of colour engraving. It's a party trick. You can do it, but not professionally. Okay? You need a Mopa laser. Okay? Two different types. Q-switch is a standard fibre laser which engraves metal, which will etch metal um, it, and it will do some colorization, all right? Uh, black onto uh, stainless steel, uh, varying colors of gray onto aluminium. Uh, it'll do browns uh, and um, varying other colors like that, browns and blacks and golds into stainless steel and ordinary steel. So that's a Q switch, a Mopa laser you can it's got it's got a higher frequency range because with a fiber laser you're dealing with frequencies that the laser operates at as well uh, my particular laser is 20 hertz to 80 hertz a mopa laser goes up way way further than that um, probably 500 or 600 or even a hundred thousand Hertz and through that upper range you can dial in an absolute precise color that is what you're paying the extra money for so and, and I will tell you straight out now that if I was to buy um, a fiber, another a Mopa fiber laser, which is on the books, uh, I am thinking about it. Um, probably the end of this year, maybe possibly the beginning of the following year. Uh, I I would like to move into Mopa lasers. But I haven't finished with this one yet. <laughs> uh, and I can definitely tell you it's going to be the Thunder Laser model. Because I know everything inside that is A grade. Um, and I think I've proved to you now the difference between the grades of uh, source lasers source fiber lasers and it's not only fiber lasers it's the same with co2 lasers too now i've done several videos explaining about that but uh, 
there again, if you're going to spend thousands of dollars on purchasing either a fiber laser or a CO2 laser uh, to get serious with um, you know a serious hobby or you know you want to start a business go to a company you can depend on because uh, you know they use the best equipment in their machines and that's thunder laser so I've answered I think all the serious questions that uh, has been put to me uh, about fiber lasers um, and I've given you some explanation there of um, you know the grades of fiber lasers and different manufacturers and the reasons uh, why I would choose Thunder Laser so I think that's and, and also um, that uh, you know the difference between a Q switch which is a standard type fiber laser like I have and a MOPA laser and color engraving because by far the uh, <laughs> the comments and the emails I'm getting is oh where can I get a machine to uh, do um, you know color engraving oh that's another thing too, that I'll mention in a minute um, yes color engraving so you know it's difficult not impossible but it's difficult to do with a Q switch laser uh, and that is you know color engraving or etching or marking um, and one thing I will mention I did say on the last color testing that I did do uh, and that is when you have you know whether you're using a you're trying to use a Q switch standard fiber laser or a MOPA laser for that matter and you've done your, your you know your color marking you need to seal it okay it needs to be sealed with a not a wood varnish but something like a clear coat that you would uh, put a clear coat on a car bodywork all right you're dealing with metal and you're actually dealing with an oxid oxidized layer okay that's heated at a precise temperature that gives you a precise color so as you're dealing with making an oxide layer color if you don't seal it over a period of time it's either going to fade change color or flake off because it's going to react with the oxygen in the air so you need to seal it in other words cut it off from any oxygen and it will stay permanent uh, the only one I have found is the black uh, the um, I'll just get it. Now I did this test 12 months, oh, over 12, 18 months ago, something like that. And uh, it's still like the day it was done. Uh, and that's not coated with anything. So that black, okay. Is, is is a permanent thing I can pretty well say that that is a permanent marking because that's like 18 months old and it has not changed at all at least in my workshop and it's been sort of open to the elements in here so as I'd reasonably say that that's permanent <laughs> but like the, the other colors need to be sealed with a uh, good quality uh, car bodywork um, clear coat that'll seal it up okay so remember if you want a fiber laser for 
metal engraving, any type of metal engraving or etching, a Q-switch type standard fiber laser will do it. Um, and you can, as I have shown, do some experimentation with color marking with a Q-switch laser, but it's difficult and unpredictable. But if you're interested in colour marking, engraving, then my only advice to you is you need a Mopar fibre laser. So that is my advice to you and the only people I can recommend to get a fibre laser or a CO2 laser from is Thunder Laser. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions about uh, basically fiber lasers uh, and this new year now I will be doing quite a lot of work with the fiber laser and also the CO2 laser, 100 watt. Um, I really want to get some uh, ex more experimentation done with the both of them and uh, I hope you'll join me for that. If you uh, like what I'm doing, like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that allows me, that enables me to afford to make these videos for you. Uh, you know, without the patrons, uh, you know, all this stops because there just is not the revenue in YouTube anymore. And uh, again, you know, if you like what I'm doing, uh, you know, you, you tell your friends. If you don't like what I'm doing, please tell everybody. <laughs> okay then. So thank you for joining me. And until the next video, um, it's bye for now.